rioting all over the country, and maybe there will be. There needs to be unrest in the streets for as long as there is unrest in our lives. You got to be ready to throw a punch. You have to be ready to throw a punch. Donald Trump, I think you need to go back and, and punch him in the face. That I thought he should have punched him in the face. I feel like punching him. I'd like to take him behind the gym if I were in high school. If we were in high school, I'd take him behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. No, I wish you were in high school. I could take him behind the gym. I will go and take Trump out tonight. Take him out now. When was the last time an actor assassinated a president? They're still going to have to go out and put a bullet in Donald Trump. Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. Please, get up in the face of some Congress people. People will do what they do. I want to tell you, Gorsuch, I want to tell you, Kavanaugh, you have released the whirlwind and you will pay the price. We're going to go in there, we're going to... The this is just a warning to you Trumpers. Be careful. Walk lightly. And for those of you who are soldiers, make them pay. If you had to be stuck in an elevator with either President Trump, Mike Pence, or Jeff Sessions, who would it be? Does one of us have to come out alive? <laughs> your president of law and order and an ally of all peaceful protesters. The vast majority of, of the protesters have been peaceful. Republicans stand for law and order and we stand for justice. I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country and maybe there will be. My administration will always stand against violence, mayhem, and disorder. There needs to be unrest in the streets for as long as there is unrest in our lives. I stand with the heroes of law enforcement. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. We will never defund our police. Together we will ensure that America is a nation of law and order. We're in high school, I'd take you behind the gym and beat the hell out of them. But I think you need to go back and, and punch him in the face. I feel like punching him. We just want law and order. Everybody wants that. I want to tell you, Lord Judge, I want to tell you, Kavanaugh, you have released the whirlwind and you will pay the price. We want law and order. We have to have law and order. Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. We believe in safe streets, secure communities, and we believe in law and order.